What's up guys, Maritime Spook here, and uh, we're going to go over this Leonard Leatherworks uh, Game Getter slash uh, Bushcraft Utility Belt, and uh, I had it hung up here just to show you before I put it on, we'll go in there and have a talk, mostly about why I like it, And uh, but I figured I'd show it to you a little bit better when it's not on me, because uh, as I said, it'd just be easier that way, but uh, one of the key features right here guys is this this piece right here, and what this is, it enables you to be able to um, put a rope through there and then if you uh, you know took down a deer and you've like gutted the deer and everything or you had uh, you know any number of different game that you've got gutted you can actually run a rope through this one of these pieces right here and then while that's strapped around your belt or around your waist or your chest area it's very very secure and uh, you can actually haul out your game uh, using this belt. They've been used all over the world. People in New Zealand use belts like this as a, a mainstay of their, their uh, kit, basically. So that's an ingenious idea. Um, you can use the belt, like I said, to haul out game, and that was part of its intended use as well. But it's also a utility belt as far as keeping things like this brass, uh, you know, this brass uh, key keeper thing here, and I've got my gloves through that. And you got to think about it this way, how many times, guys, have you been out in the woods and, uh, you know, with either without a pack or even with a pack and you've got your gloves into your, you know, into your jacket. I mean, stuff could fall out. I've lost gloves before. This I love this because you've got your gloves just strapped on there. You use them. Um, and I run a carabiner. These gloves have a thing through the top of them where you can run a carabiner. So it's good to get pairs of gloves like these. Um, these here are... Uh, superior gloves made in Canada that are just wicked gloves and uh, like I said I've got a carabiner ran through them and then ran through here now I've just got an extra stainless steel one here and that's basically just for utility purposes I could use it to put a rope through and hang things in trees and everything else so that's just an extra little tool I don't really need that I can hook the gloves right to the uh, brass ring that uh, Leonard's got made into the belt uh, very very Nice buckle and very comfortable. One of the uh, rolling buckle, I call it, where this piece rolls right here, so it's very easy to get on and off. So that's great. One of his cross draw leather sheaths. Um, this is one of the best sheaths you could ever have, guys. When I put it on here and show you in a few minutes, uh, it's one of my favorite positions to have a knife and in the winter or any time of the year but especially in the winter guys it's just great because you always know where your knife is and you always have easy access to it in uh, this fashion so i've run that through the belt and uh, i just love the way that goes another example of one of his uh brass uh accoutrements i guess you would call it and this one has spring like springy kind of thing where you can actually go and you know attach different things and i've hung everything from a ferro rod to you know just you're only limited to your imagination guys as what you could do with this uh something quick on and off um that way and that's on this too as a keeper also on the belt is one of uh, his belt pouches now i popped off guys this isn't his fault i got this stuck and I actually pulled out one of the uh, really cool brass uh, like pins was in it. So I ended up just putting a screw back in there. <laughs> and uh, that screwed on the bottom. But that was nothing to do with him. That was just a freak accident thing. I got caught on a door and yanked it like really hard. Um, and uh, his belt pouch here sewn up. And I I'm going to show you what I keep in that in there. Right now there's not much in it. But I have matches and I have a fair seam rod. And uh, you can the sky's the limit to what you can keep in there. But uh, it has, as I said, just a lot of pluses to it. So we're going to go in. I'm just going to throw it on. I'm just going to have a little bit of talk. I just want to show it to you in this fashion so it was easier than trying to show it to you that way. So just bear with me, guys, and we'll get in here out of the cold, and uh, we'll have a little talk about it. Okay, guys, so I'm back here. Got the belt back on. And like I said, guys, I absolutely love this. Um, I love where the belt, uh, where the sheath is. And for one, you always know where it is because you can just look down and see the butt of the knife right there. Uh, for one, uh, you can cross draw it and pull it out so it's always accessible. Um, and these sheaths are just immaculate guys. And they keep the knife super secure. And you'll never, ever, ever will lose that knife once that breaks in. Because what it is, when you get these, these, these sheaths, these cross draws, um, 
they come very, very uh, tight. Uh, so when you get them in there, you really got to break them in. And that's just part of it is because you need it to form around the knife. So they come very tight. You get the knife in there and, uh, you know, then they will they will bond awesome to these, to any pretty much any knife that will fit in here. And this is just an example of the more, it's a more cancelable, but I've tried numerous different knives, even when this one's been broken to that, and it holds the knives awesome. So if you get a couple of these sheaths, guys, you can pretty much fit them to about, probably about 85-90% of the knives that you have that are this size. Um, of course, a huge like Bowie or something, no, it's not going to fit. But knives, you know, in this size range, a lot of them will actually be, can be accommodated uh, through them. And I'm going to put a link to Leonard's uh, Instagram. You can get a hold of him and ask him any, probably any questions on it. And he also has an Etsy, and I'll see if I can track that down and put that in there. He's a super nice guy, very good friend of mine. Uh, I've got a rifle sling from him. I've got this utility belt. Um, I've had a couple different sheaths. We're going to do a video here soon. I have uh, another cansable sheath uh, that is like a belt, uh, belt, uh, like a normal belt one. And my pretty well favorite rig uh, that I wear, a Baldrick style. Uh, my Falkneven F1 is a Leonard Leatherworks rig that I wear across my chest that a lot of you have seen. And, uh, you know, it has my has a fire kit, a fishing kit. We'll go over that. But I just wanted to go over this, guys, and just show you, like, tell you how much I do love this. Uh, it's a great thing to pick up for the winter, and that's why I'm doing the video now, because it's cold. When you're bundled up, you've got all your stuff right here. you got your knife here, uh, your belt pouch, easily accessible. Um, you can get in and out and get your stuff out of there. You know, fail rod. Uh, you know pieces of fat wood everything I keep in there I usually just keep like fire stuff in there mostly but you know anything else uh, that you might need you know utility wise um, this is the game getter part here where you can hook that through and that could work for pretty much anything um, I'm gonna try to rig it up to my sled and I have pulled the sled with just the belt but uh, try to rig this up and as I said just different brass you know accoutrements you can obviously take your belt pouch and put it around your back um easy enough too so it's not on the side but i like keeping it there i like everything staying right up here like this so i know where it's at and i can get at it but this is just a quick video guys i was out and about actually just dropping this knife and uh i just wanted to mention this again so, and another thing about leonard guys um He's just a strong, resilient guy. They had a fire and lost everything. He lost his shop. He lost his house. Everything in it. And he's able to claw his way back up. And now he's, you know, doing everything again. And it's just very, really resilient, guys. And he's a good, good Canadian, uh, strong fella. And I just appreciate him. I'm, I'm actually glad to have him as a friend. So if you can get a chance to pick up any of his leather work, get it. You will not be disappointed. He actually, uh, I actually got a belt for my father, and he loves it. He wears it every day, and it's made me want to get one. This isn't so much a belt for your, you know, your pants, but he makes those type of belts, and that's why I'll put a link to his uh, Instagram. You can see everything he's doing. So, and he is, you know, basically we'll say world renowned for making leather work for the hunter, the bushcrafter, everybody. So this is just a wicked belt, guys. Um, everything you need is always right there. That's a wicked knife, guys, too. <laughs> Having this on your belt is a great knife for the winter, too, guys, uh, because it's that rubber handle. Um, things like, uh, you know, like, you know, there's different materials in the winter, guys, that just are not good in Canada here for the cold, for gripping on them. Um, so, there, I mean, some some knives are just not good for the winter time. This is a good knife for the winter because it's that rubberized handle. It's easy to grip with gloves, so... And that's another big, uh, big plus too, guys, is, uh, and I don't know where I put my gloves on this now. There we go. Uh, I had this strapped on the front, and uh, these are always, always, this is always awesome to have because you don't got to stick them in your pockets or try to lose them. You use your gloves, you take them on and off. Uh, these gloves have a carabiner uh, hole through each glove like that. So I can just, you, you know, take this off put my gloves on and then when I'm done with them I just slide the carabiner back through and then I clip it clip it back on there and then they're there all the time when I need them so just a quick video on that guys you're gonna see it in more videos there's some new subscribers so I don't know if they had seen this setup but this is my favorite winter setup um, 
if I'm out just for a trek, I have everything I need, and uh, I just love it. So a lot of time, I even put my small binoculars in here. So think about it that way. There's just a lot you can do with this setup. Anyway, guys, links in the description at Leonard Leatherworks. Stay safe, and uh, stay safe, guys. It's getting cold. Um, be smart when you're out there. Take it easy, guys.